On May 6, 1942, after completing the landing operation in Tulagi, the Japanese aircraft carrier Shoho returned to the theater of war. She was followed by ships, which were headed towards Port Moresby. The U.S. carriers Lexington and Yorktown, located further south, were searching desperately for the enemy fleet. On the morning of May 7, one of the U.S. pilots detected Japanese ships off the coast of Misima. Lexington and Yorktown carriers immediately launched an airstrike.
one hell of a battle. One carrier down. <laughs> That'll teach him a lesson. Good job, guys. Photographs were obtained during the latter phases of the attack, showing only the bow of the carrier, with the rest of it completely enveloped in smoke, splashes, and flames. It's difficult to conceive any other result than complete destruction of this carrier, and the personnel loss must have been close to 100%. From the bow silhouette in the photographs, plus the cutaway flight deck, the pilot's descriptions and radio intelligence, it is believed that this carrier was the Ryukaku. Captain Frederick Carl Sherman, USS Lexington. The Battle of the Coral Sea, the first carrier battle of the war, forced the Japanese to cancel their plans to attack Port Moresby. The battle cost the Americans one of their fleet carriers, the USS Lexington. Yorktown was damaged and had to retreat to Pearl Harbor for repairs. While it was impossible to identify a winner of the Battle of the Coral Sea, this was the first time the Japanese failed to meet their strategic goals. It was a taste of things to come. Subsequent Japanese plans targeted American bases in the Aleutian Islands and the Midway Atoll, a tiny island lost in the middle of the Pacific Ocean. The military base on Midway had been built up after the hostilities in Asia began and included three runways and dozens of aircraft. A huge Japanese fleet, comprising more than 70 ships with four aircraft carriers, Hiryu, Kaga, Soryu, and Akagi was sent towards Midway. The Japanese strike force was split up into several smaller fleets, which greatly jeopardized their ability to work effectively together. Meanwhile, the American codebreakers continued to read Japanese messages. It did not take long for them to learn that Midway was the next Japanese target. The U.S. Navy knew it needed every available carrier to counter the Japanese attack. The USS Yorktown 
heavily damaged during the Battle of the Coral Sea and believed to be sunk by the Japanese, was repaired in a record 72-hour round-the-clock effort. It was previously believed that months of repairs were needed. A large combined fleet comprising aircraft carriers Enterprise, Hornet and Yorktown quickly set off for Midway. Thank you.